Hello everyone, this is Bauman. Welcome back to episode 4 of this Let's Play Oxygen Not Included. Now we will actually continue right where we left. So I was thinking last episode maybe I should finish this room off camera, but let's do it on camera. I mean there's other stuff we still have to do. Like why are we still short on food? This is impossible. Right? Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Um, well, we can harvest these guys now, so I think we're fine. Okay, one problem that we do have is the natural gas here. Because of this natural gas, these guys can't grow because they need either oxygen, polluted oxygen or carbon dioxide. So they can't grow when there's natural gas around. So we kind of have to get rid of that, which is not that big of a deal because... <sighs> Never mind. I thought I had that researched already. I think it's happening right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we need gas reservoirs. Once we got that, we can suck the air. Why is this funny to me? So once that is finished, we can suck the natural gas out of our atmosphere. And then we'll be either carbon dioxide or oxygen around here so that these guys can actually grow again. But I don't think we will die just because these guys are not growing. Who knows? We will see. So another achievement earned. Bad and bath. Have at least one toilet in the colony and a bath for every duplicant. Yay! Dude, I'm looking after my duplicants so nicely. Like sending them into a super hot geyser. I'm just the best. Alright, now the research is completed. Okay. In the meantime, I will uh, research some new stuff. And there has actually been an update to the game, which added some more uh, buildings for the downtime area. Uh, I don't know where this would be. I would imagine somewhere over here with the decor. So you got a beach chair now, which is pretty funny. Um, monument midsection, monument top. Ooh, that sounds actually cool. Or was that? That was probably in the game before, I'm not sure. I know of one very specific new thing that they added and I think that's very cool. But where is that? Oh, there it is. The mechanical surfboard. Increases duplicate morale. Some water gets splashed on the floor during use. That sounds really unepic, but okay. Anyway, I think what we should go for next is the water sieve maybe? Just to have it ready in case we have to turn the polluted water into clean water again. I mean, we still have a lot of water around, so I'm not really that worried about running out of water, but we will soon start to produce oxygen from water. So, you know, then we will use a lot more water. But again, not worried about it. For now, I wanna get this done and yeah, let's try to get the natural gas out of here. I actually want to research this right here because we kind of need refined ore because I want to do some automation. And these guys are not evolving too fast. Why is there some dead guys in here? Please, are you getting extinct in here? <laughs> he will reproduce for sure, right? There is actually a pretty good chance that this guy actually turns in or lays a stone hatchling egg. That's pretty good. But the stone hatchling egg is only an in-between stage of where we want to be because we want to get to smooth hatchlings. Anyway, I'm talking way too much and doing way too little. Uh, I don't want to take on any duplicants for now. So, goodbye. Okay, so let's make some refined materials or refined ore. Oh, uh, let's put it right up, right up, right up here. Sure. Oh, we have no more algae. That's maybe problematic. I think we still have enough algae around. Uh, yeah, we're running out of oxygen. All right. Get me some algae, please. I'm not ready to die. Anyway, let's also start to place down pumps here. In here, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, now that we have too little oxygen, the natural gas rises and now also these guys can't grow. <sighs> but yeah, let's just start to get rid of the natural gas in here and we need a gas filter right next to it oh what what do we have ready in automation yet i kind of need the ele oh gas element sensor okay we got that already because i only want to have this pump running when it detects natural gas come on you gotta build this please unreachable 
dig. Right, then we will also put gas reservoirs down. We will need a lot of these anyway, I think. Maybe, maybe not. You know, to kind of store the natural gas. That's kind of how I like to do it instead of just keeping it in a big open area like here. I like to have my gas and liquids in my gas and liquid reservoirs. Let's just make two of these here, maybe. And then we'll start to do the guys the guys pipes so the gas pump pumps stuff into the filter and we will filter natural gas out of here so this goes straight to our gas reservoirs and the other stuff i think we will just put it up here something like this maybe And we also need to hook up this and it also needs power. So let's just go from this wire over here. Actually, let's go through the tiles. Because duplicants don't like to see wires just laying around. Do it like this. Yes, very nice. Let's continue research. Oh, you know, let's start researching all the power stuff so that we can utilize the natural gas whenever we are done with that room. Oh, there it is. Natural gas generator. Converts natural gas into electrical power. Yes, please. And then we will also get the smart battery. And the thick cables. Maybe even these. Yeet. Oh, we have now zero food in our base. That's incredible. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little bit panicky about the situation here. Let's throw on the carbon skimmer again. Yeah, you can just dig this now. So that all these items fall down. And we got most of the items out of here. There's still some here. But that's okay. Come on, guys. Build this. What is your goddamn problem? Okay, let's put it at level 9. Oh my god. Now we got 8.7 tons of algae. That's a lot of algae. And we still have a good chunk of algae left here. And... Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's so much algae around. Why am I even worried about oxygen? Easy. This game is so easy. Okay, the carbon skimmer is not doing anything because the pipes are not connected. <gasps> That's not good. Okay. Why did I leave that like this? <laughs> okay, this is polluted water that comes out here and we can just feed it right into here. Why are you guys not doing anything? You guys get nothing done. What is up with this okay go 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 blue che blue che is really fast at building now jesus good job now we have to refine some ore let's see what we have plenty of we have plenty of iron and copper okay let's produce 20 refined copper now this thing produces a lot of heat when it's running and it's kind of problematic um in normally tempered worlds Yes, <laughs> that's exactly how you see it. Okay, not a research complete. Maybe I should stop researching because I really have to figure this out now. Like I really have to. It's <laughs> getting really concerning here. Okay, can I get some food, please? Damn it! <laughs> get out of here. I don't care about any of you. Come on, guys, reproduce. You definitely laid an egg. Where is that egg? Are you guys storing the eggs? Maybe. Okay, stop storing eggs. So if I copy and paste this to these guys, there might be some eggs popping out here. Yep. We got a stone hatching egg. <gasps> we got another one. Okay, we gotta get these eggs in here now. Good job, Mobert. Look at Mobert going bananas. That's what I like to see. So now we will put down a gas element sensor next to the pump. And we will put automation wires to the pump. Why are you working? I didn't select a filter yet. Oh, you're just pumping it up here, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, that's hella useless. Okay. Priorities, level nine, build all of this, please. So we'll set this filter to um, natural gas. And well, now it will actually filter it out. So natural gas, goes into our reservoirs here and we can use it later to produce electrical power starvation yeah 
Oh my god. Okay. We might have to do some emergency food right now. So, please kill this at level 9. Get rid of it. Good job. Now we have to put down a microbe musher at level 9 priority. And we have to hook it up at a level 9 priority. Yes. Okay, you guys have built this over here. Uh, you put in critter axe. Actually, you're just going to put stone hatching axe in there. Build this. I'm not ready. I'm not ready to lose a duplicate just yet. Please. Build this. What is wrong with you guys? I don't care about achievements right now. Well, I do care. What do we get? Red light, green light. Automate a building using sensors or switches from the automation tab in the build menu. Yay, we did it. And you will only be activated when you detect natural gas. Why is nobody building this? Priority, yellow alert, do this. Why is nobody doing this? Are you out of your oh. minds? What do you mean Blue Jay doesn't want to build it? It's Blue Jay's job. Who's responsible for this? Nobody. I'm so confused. Miss Ross is just sweeping. What? Well, honestly, guys, if you don't want to do it, then go ahead and die for all that I care. I don't understand. I genuinely don't understand. But I guess they can't reach iron ore. Otherwise, they would build it. Oh, now someone is building it. Why is Steve building this? <sighs> okay, good. Make mush bars. And do it at level 9, please. Skadoosh, do it. You gotta do it. Skadoosh, stop. Stop. Putting stop. Skadoosh, you have one chop. Skadoosh, I swear to God. Okay. Do it faster. Mmm, look at that. Yummy mush bar. Oh, there we go. Somebody please eat. 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 Somebody eating? Oh, they're eating now. Okay, gotcha. Okay, they are somewhat safe now. Maybe. Okay, I don't care. This is yellow alert. Eat. I don't care if you're tired the next day. You gotta eat, okay? I swear to God, if somebody wakes up dead... Okay. Good. Okay, now you guys can continue to build this. There you go. Let's make another 10 of these. Just to be safe. Can we actually prepare these? Oh yeah, mush fried. Ah, oh, this was so stressful. Oh my god. Okay, let's research smart batteries. Okay, so now let's throw them out here. Yes. So now they're incubating. Very nice. So yeah, this is getting warm now. I mean, with this natural heat, we could technically heat up our base, especially our plants here. I think we will set something like this up, maybe here. So the thing is, now that we got rid of the warmer carbon dioxide here, everything is getting cold again. Oh my god. Okay, now it's time for big brain. First of all, we have to pump things into the gas reservoir here. Just like that. Get rid of this here. Well, yeah, let's, let's get some natural gas in there. Let's just do this first. And while we're at it, we will put some more automation down in here. All right, and gate down because we need to meet two conditions. First, the thermos sensor and second, the atmos sensor. So we don't want the pump to go when the temperature is above 75 degrees Celsius. Otherwise, the gas pump will overheat, and I don't want that to happen. And also, we don't want the pump to just go all the time, so we'll also have a pressure sensor in here, which will put to maybe 500 grams. Actually, we also need a gas filter. Because there's still some gas in here, like oxygen and down here, carbon dioxide, I think. Yeah, we do need the gas filter as well here. So let's put it here. We'll cancel these guys really quick. Gas in here. Filtered. Uh, natural gas comes out here and the rest, I don't care. In here maybe. 
Okay. Get it all done, please. And, of course, it will also need some power, which we'll just draw from here for now. Like so, and so. I, why are you guys starving again? Because we have no power. Because... What the hell? Just put power in there. I mean, coal in there. What are you doing? I just realized that we have to put radiant gas pipes in here. What radiant gas pipes do is that they allow for extreme temperature exchange. I will explain later why this is important. Okay, let's set the Atmos sensor and the Thermo sensor now. Atmos sensor, send a green signal if the pressure is above 500 grams. And for the Thermo sensor, send a green signal if below... I, want, I don't want to go to 75, so let's say 70 two maybe actually let's just be safe and put it to 70 so green signal here wait oh went above i'm dumb <laughs> atmosphere has to be above okay so this will pump stuff in here now what could we possibly need uh let's get the conductive wire i like that okay carbon skimmer stop okay so now our gas reservoir is full i think it can fit 150 kilograms okay so Let's break these gas pipes now. Okay, so now it's big brain time. So we will use this natural gas to heat up our plants at least. So what we have to do to heat up our gas again, we will use the heat that comes from this geyser. So we will put radiant pipes along here. Then we will use normal gas pipes to go into the reservoir. We need more radiant pipes uh, close to our plants, of course. Radiant pipes along here. Let's just put them down. Then this goes into this pipe. And... We'll do a loop. Ooh, we'll do a loop here and here. Now this just goes back. Oops, back to here. We gotta make sure that it doesn't overheat because we cannot just let it run, right? We need some control mechanism. So what we definitely need is a thermos sensor near these guys so let's put it somewhat in the middle here so if this dude goes above let's say 25 degrees then this should stop pumping natural gas through here to heat up the things you know that's like our radiator here for the plants right so it has to stop once we reach a temperature of 25 degrees celsius in this vicinity that is Output goes up, then we need a gas shutoff maybe. Because the gas shutoff allows for gas flow or not. Sounds logical to me. We will see how this goes though. Now for automation. So we have to run the wire from the thermal sensor to the gas shutoff. So if this is 25 degrees Celsius, it will send a signal to the gas shutoff to shut off the loop. All right, I think that's it. Now we probably just have to power this guy. And that's it. So now we don't need the radiators anymore. Because they eat up a lot of energy. Well, it's not that much. Well, it's still 120 watts per radiator. But this is pretty much free. This will require like... 25 watts, I think. Also, I gotta keep an eye out for these guys. Actually, you know what? We should just shut them down. Because now the other thing will hopefully do the job. Okay, Blue Jay is hard at work. Building all the stuff. Let's follow him around. Actually, I have to go to the toilet, so... Blue Jay, I'm counting on you to not destroy my base.
How are we doing? We still alive? Didn't we follow Blue Jay around? What happened? Okay, let's see how this looks like. It looks pretty done. That's nice. And now we have these disgusting pipes in the background here. But what can you do? Okay, more and more plants seem to come back to life. That's nice. My god, this geyser is relentless. And he will keep on going for 56 cycles. Actually, we can forever this to do um, lime. I forgot what we need lime for. I just remembered that I need quite a bit of it. Smart storage is also something that I have never tried for myself. And I don't feel like trying it out now. But let's get the fire poles now. Hmm, don't you also want to eat meal ice? I mean, look at how this looks like. There you go. Ah, oh, delicious. <laughs> oh, we cannot build this in here because this is locked. Ugh. Dumb. I'm a dummy dumb. Unreachable build too. Ah, god damn it. Have to put another ladder here. And we probably can't reach that either. Yeah. So let's put a ladder... Here? Sure. Get rid of this. Okay, we gotta stop producing these mush bars because they eat up a lot of my water. So, stop. Because, look, look at this. Where'd the water go? <laughs> Wait, is this done now? Oh, we didn't set the thermal sensor yet. All right, so, activate the gas flow when below 25 Celsius. Okay, this is on. Let's look. Why? What? Oh, this just means when this is active, it actually shuts off. Okay, so we have to do this the other way. Like this. So this will turn off, and now it will start flowing. What the frickerino? Pipe blocked. Okay. Oh, we have to. Ah, we have to turn around the bridge here. <sighs> turn this gas bridge around. And build this at yellow alert. Build it! Blue Jay, where are you? Oh, Steve is doing it. Okay, so now the gas isn't flowing because that was stupid. So now the gas is flowing. So the thing is, I only used normal gas pipes instead of insulated gas pipes. So now this will also heat up. Maybe I should replace it. It is actually good that it starts to heat up everything else in the base around, right? Okay, let's keep track of the gas here. Yeah, the gas is already down to 10 degrees Celsius, 12 degrees Celsius. So let's see what happens here now. Now it goes up again, 34. And now it will recycle this. So hopefully this will heat up a little bit now. Let's see. Uh, oxygen, 10 degrees Celsius. So this should grow now. What do you mean body temperature? It's 10 degrees Celsius around here now. Stop. And grow. Uh, more research. Sure, let's do more research. Maybe the oil well? For whenever we get to that. So most of the energy or most of the temperatures are already lost here. But, I mean, it's okay. I mean, it's, it will start to heat up here. I mean, maybe I should use insulated tiles here. But I would also lose all of the natural gas here. Actually, we can just shut this off again and then use insulated tiles or insulated pipes. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it really quick. Okay, temperature. Let's send this. Let's shut this off now. And wait until all the gas is back in the reservoir. Then we will start to replace... At least these guys here, until here, with insulated tiles. So yeah, you guys start doing that and we will start to put insulated tiles. Insulated pipes here. Why is this? Oh, now there's the natural gas down here because this keeps pushing... The oxygen just keeps pushing stuff down now. Maybe we should build another, another pump here. Gas pump right here. And you will bring... Your thing also into the filter here. Gas element sensor. Let's put it here. 
automation wire, hook it up. All right. You only activate when you see natural gas. Okay, how are things going with the pipes now? Okay, what's the status? Do this. And then we are done. Now this is insulated and it will carry the natural gas at 22 degrees Celsius, at least until here. Here already it's down to 14 degrees. Damn. But yeah, this will heat up nicely here now. Why are you not growing? Does the, the farm tile need to be above 10 degrees Celsius? Oh no, the farm tile needs to be above 10 degrees Celsius. Okay, eventually this will get back to normal. Right? Sure. Just keep on telling this to yourself, mommy, that everything will be fine. So most of the temperature is already lost up here, as you can see by the color of the pipes. Down here, it's already really cold again. I mean, the farm tiles are all heated up now. As you can see, everything, well, almost everything is above 10 degrees Celsius now. Wait, why are you growing now? Oh, the, the plant itself has its own temperature stat. I just see now. I get it now. So you know what we should start doing is to actually start the natural gas generator stuff. But that will have to wait until next time. I'm sorry. I'm all out of time already. I was actually expecting to do the natural gas stuff today. But then the whole food shortage stuff happened. And it's still happening, but it's looking much better now. If all these plants are back to life again, then we'll, we are definitely fine again. So yeah, next episode will be the natural gas stuff. And maybe we can also start to convert the polluted water back to clean water. But we will see how things go. But anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching me dubbing around. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a sweet day. And stay. Oh!